Hey, what's happening to you guys? Percy and welcome back to another video. So, I was pretty surprised to hear this news, but My Hero, Academ uh, My Hero Academia Wants Justice is getting a sequel. Something that I didn't expect. I thought maybe that a new developer would take on the mantle of the My Hero Academia IP and just create a brand new character because the first game was kind of weak. Well, weak in the sense of, well, okay. I'll give you guys my opinion of the game, and I'll give you guys the perception of the public's opinion. So, my opinion, I thought the game was weak, disappointing, and honestly something to be forgotten and left in the dust. That's how I felt about the game, right? It felt so generic, it became an insult to me as a My Hero Academia fan that they want me to spend, I don't know how much the game was at first, I think it was 50, maybe 40 euros to play something like this. I was like, no, I couldn't do it. Now, in the reception, in the world reception, the game was met with mixed reviews. Some people enjoyed it, and those people were people who just enjoyed the My Hero Academia aspect of it. Just, just being able to play as, you know, um, Deku, Bakugo, All Might, all those people. They were just fine playing with Stain, Todoroki, and all that people. They didn't care about the quality of the game. They, they just enjoyed the game for what it was. And then obviously the people, the critics, who obviously had similar sentiment with the way I had about the game, about the game's quality, f facial animation, uh, combat, all that shit. They, they just agreed with me that the game just wasn't up, on to, uh, up to par with the quality of what I expect to see in a 2019... Oh, did the game come out? Yeah, 2019 game. So this sequel, um, Once Justice 2, as they're calling it, will be focusing on the Season 4 aspect of the anime and also be adding new characters like Overhaul and they've also promised that they're going to be adding a lot more characters so I, I mean that's pretty cool but will they get the shit right this time around? Will they be able to, will they be able to finally polish the gameplay, polish the visual, polish everything? This is the sequel. If the sequel ends up looking almost identical to the first version then it's like come on bro what, what, what are you doing? I'm not getting hyped up since I know that the sequel has been made by the same people who made the first one. I'm not hyped up. I can't be hyped up. There's nothing for me to be hyped up about. I was kind of hoping that someone else, some new developer, will take on um, pretty much the IP and just go out and create a brand new My Hero Academia game, start off from scratch. Because My Hero Academia, the anime, is a... F <sighs> okay, so it's a great anime. Like, people enjoy it. Like, the, the hero aspect is great. So I want something that reflects that epicness. My Hero Wants Justice did not do it justice. It did not do it justice at all. So, is second time the charm? I I, I don't know. Like I have the um, screenshot here. So, we have a serious looking Deku, you know, looking powerful. Um, we have Overhaul, and um, that's pretty much it. That that's all we have about this game so far. It's a screenshot. So. <sighs> They're also gonna be doing something in the lines of new characters. Let me see. Um, blah 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 blah. Along with character specific actions, players can also expect to see a significant upgrade to quirks more generally. So, there's going to be a significant upgrade to the abilities of each of the characters. I don't know what that means, to be honest with really. you. That could mean almost anything. It could probably mean you could have more quirks abilities. It could mean that the quirks visual will look pretty great. It could mean that quirks will play more of a part of the gameplay so as in a more one-to-one -one accurate representation of the quirks from the anime to the game so certain quirks who probably weren't translated properly could be implemented in this game so that could also mean a bunch of stuff that could mean characters like uh, what's her name or Chachu or Chaku I don't know the girl with the gravity gravity girl Yurviti, Yurviti whatever her name is maybe she, um, I don't even know. Like, how would she even fight? To be honest, with you? she got bodied by Bakugo. Um, whatever. I don't know what that means. A significant upgrade to the quirks more generally. Maybe someone like Sukiyami, who probably gets stronger at night. If he's playing at a night stage, he gets stronger, like a more accurate representation. And if it gets really dark, I don't know how that's gonna happen. But if it gets really dark for some reason, he goes overload and just I don't. It's pretty interesting. Um, 
like for me, like I like I'ma be honest with you, I have no hype, no expectations, no nothing for this game. I just want to talk about it because I talked about the first one. So it only makes sense for me to talk about the second one and give you guys my thoughts and opinion on it. And I think I feel like in in the anime community, this is why I'm actually starting to talk more about anime games in general. In the anime community, there's a lot of hype beasts. There's a lot of hype beasts. When's the last time you've heard someone critically, you know, critique an anime game? Every time someone does that, they're either seen as a hater, they're either seen as a fucking, I don't know, like a stain in the community, something like that. There's only a handful of people who actually critique anime games and they are appreciated by the anime community. One of them is, what's his name? Globku. Globku. Yeah, like I respect this dude. I, re I really respect this dude because he's able to get past the hype the nostalgia, all that shit, and just critique a game and give his honest opinion. Many of the people in the anime community can't do that for some reason, like they have to hype it up and if they have anything negative to say, and I don't mean like they wanna just hate the game because they wanna hate the game, if they genuinely have something that's concerning them, they don't be, they're, they're never direct with it, like they never just outright just say what it is that's concerning them, they'll, whatever. Point is, is that I have no hype for this game. A screenshot and a confirmation for new characters, um, content from season four, and all that stuff is not enough for me to even begin to get hyped up. Because I, I have only the first game to, you know, base my expectation on, and you know, it wasn't impressive. I was not impressed whatsoever. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I mentioned this again. My expect, my perception for, you know. My Hero Academia is that it wasn't worth buying because I didn't purchase it. I looked at it, I analyzed it, I looked at all the gameplays, everything that they offered, and I just decided it wasn't worth the purchase. So I left it. Uh, like for me, I'm more I'm more about integrity. Like if I say something, I have to back it up. I can't just be out here destroying the game, like you know, obviously critiquing the game and being negative about it, and then go out the next day and buy the game. It doesn't make sense. Like I want my words and my opinion to hold some value. So I didn't, I didn't purchase the first game. Now obviously in the world perception, um, this game was received very mixedly. Like I said before, fans of this anime bought it because they want to play as Deku. And people who buy games for the sake of games, they had more, more things to say. So it'll be interesting to see how this game turns out. I don't, I'm not someone who wants to hate. I, I'm not someone who wants to like pretty much just say, I want this game to be shit. No. I'm really hoping that they've learned from their first game, that they've listened to the crit um, critics, criticism and feedback, all that stuff, like they've heard everything and they're improving. Like I want this to be something in the lines of, you know, Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2. Now Xenoverse 1 was good, for, but it was the blueprint that gave birth to Xenoverse 2. So I'm hoping that My Heroes Once Justice 2 involves, like, one, oh, fucking hell. My Heroes Once Justice was the blueprint, and that will give birth to a much greater, much better looking game for the most part. I mean, yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Paris, and um, yep, I'll catch you guys uh, next time. Peace.